I tell her that people are a lot like letters because they come in all different shapes and sounds and by themselves, they don't make much sense, but put them together and they mean so much more than they should. She tells me that people are a lot like letters because they all look so similar to they are facing the other direction, that the only thing separating the letter B from the letter D is a mirror that the letter M wishes it were upside down like the letter W so it could be part of more questions like why does Y think it is a vowel when it clearly isn't? She loves numbers, she tells me, because they have no definite beginning or end, just a very clear middle and zero. She's going to teach her son the alphabet one day, not as a line of letters, but as a circle of sounds turning in on itself. Some days she might begin at A, B, C, which to us is the beginning, and to her, and her hypothetical son is the beginning, but on other nights she might begin at T U V or Y Z A when the other kids in his class get stuck at I J. He knows that the next letter will be K, even if he doesn't know any of the other letters afterwards, because he would just be beginning. But to be honest, she is far too young to be speaking about children in kindergarten. So I say, hey, aren't you a little bit young to be speaking about children in kindergarten? She says hey back and I say hey and then she says hey do you know why I love the alphabet and I ask her why she says hey one syllable words are just vowels hiding behind breaths like huh hey hey and I ask her do you know why I love the alphabet and she says why and I tell her why doesn't have to try as hard as M to be a part of more questions. Doesn't have to bend over backwards. It simply just is a question. Why? And she says, huh? And I say, hey. Hey. So is this where we begin? At the letter A, I ask her. Unless we started at YZ, she tells me. And I guess this is where we end.